I'm going to show you guys every extension that I use in Google Chrome to analyze deals. And then I'm going to give you guys all my criteria, all my tips to make sure that you guys are buying good stuff and not garbage. Because I'm going to show you guys this analysis on a product I bought that I lost money on. And I'm going to show you guys why I lost money on. And I wouldn't have lost money, guys, if I was watching this video right now. So I'll show you guys what mistake I made. Uh, let's get right into it. So these are the three extensions that I use every single day. The Rev Seller, Keepa, and Amazon Calc. And let me show you guys how to install extensions first. Because it has to be in Chrome. And you've got, you've got to use these extensions. There's no way you can go around it. So go to click this little button here. Go to Mode Tools. Go to Extensions. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And click Get More Extensions. So then you'll just type in the ones that you want. And only two of these you can get this way because these are the free ones. So you'll type in FBA. FBA Calc. First, it's the first one right here. FBA Calc. You'll type in Keepa. Right? This one right here. Okay? The one you can't get is Rev Seller because that one actually costs a little bit of money every year. Uh, but I'll show you guys that one and how to get it because it's a huge time saver, period. No doubt about that. But let's go into this. So the first thing you need to do when you're doing your analysis is make sure a product is actually selling. Okay? You need to see the sales for a product. So you'll click this extension right here. This is the Amazon Calc extension. Um, doesn't work for some reason when I had my webcam on. So I took a picture of it before I turned my webcam on. So this is what it'll look like. It'll appear over here. But I'm going to move it over here so you can see it without my face in the way. So here it is. Uh, first thing you do is check the monthly sales. Right here, this line will show you the monthly sales. It's at 279 If it doesn't show you an estimated monthly sales, stay away from that product. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not selling, but it means that Amazon hasn't provided enough information for it to know that it's selling. Okay, And if you're a newbie, the last thing you want to do is think of product selling and have it not sell. So... Um, it'll do it for like 90, probably 95% of products. It'll give you an estimated monthly sales, but chances are if it doesn't give you an estimated monthly sales, that means the sales are zero. So keep that in mind. Uh, so you can see this is selling well. Anything above 100 sales a month, I am in love. I love that. Uh, anything below 100, you might, you meet, I'm not saying don't sell products below 100 because I have made, I have a speaker that I bought. I probably, I've made almost a thousand dollars on this speaker, and it's only selling thirty to fifty units a month. So, but it's, it's very expensive, I should say. But I mean, I'm making, I made a lot of money on it. It's not selling a lot. You just need to, you need to know that if a product's not selling a lot, that you're not going to get a shit ton of competition coming in and killing the game. So, yeah, that's just you need to watch out. Competition could come in and easily crush these products if it's only selling a few a month. Uh, so you've already seen that product selling well. Let's go check out. Make sure you're actually going to make any money on this product. So you can see that this right here is a calculator that you can calculate your margins. So the product cost is how much you're going to buy it for. So I bought these for twenty-eight dollars, all in cost at Best Buy. Uh, product price is how much you're going to sell it for. This will auto-populate to the buy box price. So fifty-seven bucks was how much I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to sell this product for. Uh, you can see all my fees here, fee total. So for each unit I sell, I'm going to pay $13 to Amazon for fees. Margin impact, this is saying for each product that I sell, I'm going to make $15.58. And this is my ROI. And this is the number one and pretty much only indicator I use on whether I buy products or not. Like, like I use this. This is the only one I use to determine if a product's profitable enough, I should say. So right here, you can see the return on investment is 55%. What the hell is ROI? So at 55 ROI percent ROI, that means for every hundred dollars I spend on this product, once I sell it, I'm gonna get my hundred dollars back and then make another 55 bucks. Okay, that's what that means. That that's what that means. Okay, so uh, ignore estimated monthly profit because uh, this would this would be your estimated monthly profit if you sold every single unit for the month. And newsflash, this is arbitrage. You're not going to do that. So now you've seen that a profit, how much it sells, uh, how much it's, oh, I forgot to tell you about ROI. ROI, I shoot for a minimum, a bare minimum of 30%. Uh, I really like 50%. That's my sweet spot. 
I have most of all, like pretty much all my inventory sitting between like 40, 40% and 60% uh, return on investment. I have some product that I've seen at 100%. I bought one product, spent about $400 on it, and I made, I, I doubled my money. So I spent $400, I came out with $800. $400 profit. It was, it was, it was awesome. Uh, but don't tell me that 50% doesn't exist because I buy it all the time. So at least 30, that's what you should be looking for. Now we need to check and see. This is what you should really do first. But it it's the reason why you wouldn't do this first is because without the rev seller extension, it is a pain in the freaking butt to do. But you need to check and make sure you can actually sell the product. Because so many products on Amazon are gated, you can't sell them. But this is why the rev seller extension is so nice. Because you can see right away, boom, if you can sell a product or not. See right here? It says, it says sell yours new. That means I can sell the product. I already know I can. If I can't, it'll load like this and it will say uh, can't sell a new condition. It'll be red. It's red instead of green. So instantly know and this is hooked to my, am my actual Amazon seller account. So it knows for me, Adam Fisher, can you sell us on your account? And it says I can't. I can't. So we're good. Uh, let me show you the alternative to this because this is why this rev seller's extension will pay for itself a thousand times over because the amount of time you will save getting this extension you will be able to find so many more deals I promise you uh, so let's go this is how you actually have to find them this is how you have to check to see if you can sell something if you don't have the rev seller extension so you need to go into catalog you need this is on your uh, seller central account so you need to go into catalog add products then what I would then what I used to do was come back here. I would scroll down to the bottom of this page. For every product, but keep in mind, I would grab the ASIN. Take this, I'd copy and paste this. I'd paste it back into this page. I'm not going there because then you guys will see my my store name and I'm trying not to show that. So you guys don't know exactly what I'm flipping. Because a couple of deals I'm really milking, so I don't want everyone to know. But uh, you would go in this page, then you paste the ASIN in, click the enter button, and then and then you can see if you can sell the product. So it takes a freaking way more time, especially when you're trying to do like you know over a hundred products. It's going to take a damn long time. So that's how you have to do it if you don't have this extension. Okay, it's a hundred dollars a year. I do have a link to it in the description. It is it is an affiliate link. I get a little bit of money if you buy it, but I promise you. This is I use this every single day. It's my most used extension by by far. So let me show you guys how to get that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go. Oh oh oh! And Rev Seller has a free 30 day trial, no credit card need. I think it's 30 days. Don't quote me on that one. But look at this. Credit card is not needed for free trial. So click try it free. Try it out, guys. At least do that for yourself. You don't even need a credit card. And then when you guys need to install it, you need to go to my account. My account. You'll have to hook it to your Amazon account, but uh, then you just click download extension. That's how you get your extension. I've had a couple of people ask me on that, so uh, there you go. That's how you do it. So the, another nice thing about the Rev Seller account is it shows you the rank, like boom, right away. Because once you've been doing this for a month, you will know right off the top of your head, 1,100 sales, 1,100 video games. That's a great rank. That's a great rank. I'd love to buy that, you know. But but you also know, 10,000 in video games. Man, I probably don't want to buy that. Jeez, maybe one unit. Like, you don't want to buy that. So, um, now let's go show you guys how I lost some money. Because this is the good part of the story. This is what I didn't do. So, we have saw that we can sell the product. Now we need to make sure that the price history and the sales rank history look good. This is the Keepa extension. This right here is the, 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 per, the pink thing is the buy box. So, you can see how much at what date the product was selling for like you can see the buy box price and then this is the sales rank this will show you uh, what a product was ranked in its category for this one the rank is video games okay so right now the rank you can see is 1180 over here it says uh, 11 1180 boom magic not really <laughs> so this is the mistake that I made I bought this product right here okay this is the this is literally where I bought this product I bought it look at this sell so buying for fifty seven dollars oh my gosh sell for fifty seven bucks I can buy it for twenty eight you already saw I was making fifty five percent of my money killer deal what I didn't know was that a week and a half earlier 
the product was selling for $38.39. A $20 difference. Huge difference. So I bought this product here. Thought I was going to sell it for this. Uh, actually ended up selling down here. I sold it down like, way down here. Like like at 35 bucks, I think is where I sold it at. So I bought this product for 28 Sold it for 35. You can see I lost three bucks a unit. I mean, I only, I mean, I only had ten u two units that I actually sold, so I didn't lose much money. But I, I did return five of them to Best Buy all in one go. So that was kind of interesting. So yeah, uh, definitely a stupid product to buy. But if I would have known this, I wouldn't have done that. I would have seen, oh, look at this. It was selling for 40 bucks. I shouldn't buy this product. It's gonna come back down. Look at this. Came back down. It's gone back up probably because of Q4. I mean, I can't tell you for sure. Uh, but look at this. The price has gone back up right now. Right now, the price is at 50 from $54. So then the new price, I think the new price is at $57, I checked. So yeah, this product's selling for $57 bucks right now in Prime. But what happens if you buy this product, man? By the time you get it in, boom. Price could drop back down to $35, $38, $40. So that's you need to check. That's the first thing you need to check. You also need to check the sales rank history. Okay, this right here is the sales rank history. Okay, you can see the sales rank is kind of like it's. You need to check and see where the history's been because I can see that right now this product's ranked 1100 to 1200 in video games. Previously, it's been ranked a lot better. Uh, back here, it was ranked about the same. So what do you need to know? You need to know whether this product's seasonal. Because this product might be selling really good right now, but summer's about to end, and, and all of a sudden your freaking pool access, pool access, pool accessory is gonna sell like garbage. So you need to check that. You can check change the duration here. See, I can see the entire history of the graph. Okay. Other thing you can see, other thing you need to check. Let's go back to three months. You just need to you need to make sure that the product isn't temporarily selling really well, and and has been selling really crappy. Okay. For me, I can see that this product, the, the most highest it's been is 1500 in video games. I know that's really good sales rank. That's probably like 250, 250 sales a month. I'll flip that product any day of the week. Uh, but if if I had seen that this product was right now ranked at 1200 in video games, but uh, but two weeks ago, three weeks ago, it was ranked at 12,000 in video games. Uh, that means that a couple people have come in and bought a lot of units, probably, and the 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 rank is temporarily dropped, but that probably means the rank is going to go back up. All of a sudden, it's going to be at 10,000 units, and it's going to be selling like two a month. So 10,000 ranked video games is garbage. It's like one or two a month sales. Um, so there you go. That's everything that I've got, guys, how to do all the analysis. Uh, I really, If you guys are going to buy the, get the rev seller, at least try it, guys. At least click the link and try it because, like I said, it's free trial with no credit card. Try out the Rev Seller extension, and guys, if if I have provided it only, only if I provided a ton of value to you right now, please go like this, please like this video and subscribe because I'm trying. I'm just a small YouTuber trying to grow my channel, and when you guys do that, it lets YouTube know that this video has provided value, and it makes it more likely to show up in search results, more likely to show up in related videos. So if you've done that, guys, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll be making a video. Oh, hey, and one last thing. Shout out to this guy right here, Brian Campbell. Uh, he asked for this video, so I'm giving it to you guys.